And the next one is, let's start with, let's test that uh, the replication one with multiple brokers. How will we start multiple brokers? So if I want to start the brokers, and each broker will have a broker ID as well. So one thing that I forgot to show you that broker ID. So in the log messages, so somewhere here, so this zero means this is the broker ID. So for each topic, maintains this. So it's topic comma, the broker ID. Or somewhere you can see that explicitly, or even in this, you can find that the broker ID as zero. Here you can find this. So even this broker ID starts from zero. Uh, you, you, we have to configure if we are running more than one uh, broker on the same machine. Okay. So let me prepare Kafka and this config. So let me prepare two more server dot properties. So for each server, you should have a separate properties file. So I make this broker ID as one in this, and the next one, the broker ID as two. Okay, and again, the port numbers, so I, I will make it as the host name and port numbers as this way. bind uh, port numbers we have to change this in the plain text uncomment this let me make this 9094 and this as 9093 Let's see if this works. And also we need to specify for each this is a Kafka logs one. And I will make this as Kafka logs two. For each broker, you should have a dedicated so logs directory. Otherwise, it will throw you an error message. Okay. Now, if I start my Kafka servers on this, let me close that. Server start.sh, your dollar Kafka connect VAR slash your server one dot properties ampersand. Let me start this in the background. So it's running as 14319 as the process ID. So valid versions are 0 or 1. Version 2 is invalid. Processor got and caught exception. Kafka server and broker ID slash 1 with address plain text. Broker ID slash one. Kafka version 0 
update metadata request valid versions are 0 or 1. So awaiting socket connections on 9093, it started. Accepted threads. Startup complete. Okay, let me check my previous configurations that I have with me. User lib Kafka. Listeners, the same way, host name. This way only. Let me try changing this. Sudo kill minus nine. That's the process ID. Whatever that's this process. The process ID is so one four three one nine. Let me stop that first. Sudo kill minus nine it's not letting me sudo kill minus nine one four three one nine that should get killed now okay uh, let me start once again why is it pointing to? Oh, these are the other terminals where I didn't refresh my. If you observe, the problem was like it's pointing to 2.10, 0.9 version. Okay. So I didn't refresh the. I, I need to. Either open a new tab and run that. Kafka server start.sh and dollar Kafka conf dir slash server one dot properties. So it is pointing to the latest one. Okay, so no error messages. So it just uh, successfully got created there. So it, it's successfully running. And similarly, if you want to start a new one more server, let's start that with server two dot properties file. Okay, so on broker two, even this is this is run, so kick started fine. So all these things are ready. Now, if I want to um, send any messages onto a topic where the topic is having a three replication factor, so for that we should first create a topic with. Uh, replication factor 3 okay so just let me create one another topic
Kafka topics dot sh hyphen hyphen create hyphen hyphen zookeeper hyphen hyphen zookeeper local host two one eight one Application for factor three hyphen hyphen partitions one hyphen hyphen topic as a rep topic. Okay. So now this is a replication rep hyphen topic is is a having three replication now. And it got registered with your Zookeeper registry. And all the brokers that you have run, broker zero, broker one, broker two, so all of them are tied to your Zookeeper forum, the same 2181 port number. So I changed the broker IDs. I changed the broker IDs in server properties file. And I changed the log messages file directory and I changed the broker port number. But in all the three servers, my Zookeeper connection string is localhost 2181. So that means all these three brokers are registered with just one Zookeeper connection or Zookeeper service. Okay. So now. If you have, if you write any messages to this topic, so you can even verify that just using the describe command on any topic. So, how many, what is the leader, or what is the replication factors? those things are present like so instead of create if you just give instead of list list if you give it displays all the topics but if you use this you can find details so in this registry there are three brokers that are registered with so topic name is so partition count is one, replication factor three, other configuration topic equals replication topic, the so partition zero, the leader, leader is the second uh, one, and replicas is two zero one. So in sync replicas are two zero one. That means so the two is the leader one, and remaining the others are the other two replicas. So out of all these three replicas, so one is elected as leader, this, this, the second one, but also the same top. Now, if I produce my messages to that, the same console producer, so this topic now, so that is my producer. Let's say I have this producer, but instead of, this is not my producer. Console producer instead of this topic, if I write any messages to rep topic now, that will get replicated. Okay, and now I should specify the broker list where uh, even if I write messages on to one of those brokers, that will automatically get replicated. Right, that's what I was telling. Same like your um, HDFS blocks copying into one of the data nodes. From that data node to another data nodes will get copied. First message, second message, this stuff. And from console, so if you want to consume, so for the first time, 
topic means web hyphen topic so you are able to consume that now suddenly my first broker got killed or got failed so one of the, the broker machine got failed now so this is killed so the server is killed and coming to the producer side uh, there is nothing change if you send a third message still the third message is able to capture okay new leader is one now and if you check the describe here this time the equations might got changed so the zero is no longer present so leader is still two okay and in sync replicas if you observe ideally it should have replicas two zero one but right now the in sync replicas that are available two comma one the zero at one the broker id zero at one we have shut down it kafka server zero that is what the broker id zero server that we closed it that we turned off okay so once turned off that zero has gone no so something happened to my in the second broker itself now this is my second broker on broker 2 let me kill this so if i send the so let me close that the fourth message that will still be sent to on your console consumer and specify that and you can observe now that the equations got changed the leader is one because that's the only one that is available and in sync replicas is also one right now this is the situation and even as long as at least one broker is active so you can keep on sending your messages this is purely to test your uh, the replication factor of your brokers and the fault recovery for them. <laughs>